So hello, welcome back. Today a video about again vinyl me please. Some of you may have seen my my audio file remaster label ranking, and maybe some of you are surprised that I put vinyl me please on place number two. And um, this video about their new releases and some of their, in my opinion, greatest stuff, best stuff. Uh, may underline or, or may make it clearer why I am so fond of of, of this of this uh, remaster label, and we should start right away with the with the newer titles, not the completely new. They are uh, on shipment right now. We're talking about the May releases, and start and let's start. <coughs> excuse me. With, with their classic series, which is in for me my favorite series. And this month they brought out King Curtis Live at the Fillmore West. Beautiful Stax release with the usual uh, uh, stuff you get from them. OB, give me a second here, the, this little, this little booklet which is in a way a blessing and a curse because the format is quite difficult i have my vinyl me uh, vinyl storage solution sleeve so i have enough pockets but otherwise this is a bit difficult to store with the record due to the format i think for for some people you have your obi obi and then you have the hype sticker where they tell you something about the pressing. It's again a, a, a Lacas cut from the original analog types by Ryan K. Smith from Sterling Sounds. It's on 180 gram black vinyl pressed over at QRP, quality records pressing. And um, the record itself, I said it, it's from, from the Stax label. And you have a very beautiful live recording with 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 quite interesting uh, uh, titles for example you have the live version his live version of whole other love <laughs> a whiter shade of pale quite in interesting stuff nice listening good good quality not fantastic but but decent very good and um, another beautiful addition in the vinyl me please classic series you know um, what what uh, this is by way note to self you, you probably have to consider often <coughs> the quality of the master tape it's not always the case that you have this fantastic sounding perfect uh, recordings and and uh, uh, a master engineer like Ryan K Smith can only deal with the stuff he gets, I can imagine, and maybe this may is is a case where the original tape is good, is decent, but not that uh, audio file firework. So I like it, good one. And now for my abs absolute highlight this this month, and we are talking about Dark Side Psychic. This is in their Essential series, the 101st edition on colored vinyl with a lot of extra stuff. Nice booklet and, and, and uh, beautiful inner sleeves and on and on and on. But what's so special about this release, one uh, part of, the, uh, uh, of this dark side by the way, is Nicolas Jar, fantastic electronic musician. And the sound quality of this release is reference quality. The original uh, release also was very, very, very good. This is an unbelievable, unbelievable good sounding album. One of the best sounding electronic releases I have ever heard and this is for sure one of my albums I put on the table, on the turntable, 
when I uh, 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 want to show people how great vinyl can be. Outstanding, fantastic. And then we go with the third, with the third installment of the um, country series from Vinyl Me Please. This time, Sturgill Simpson, Meta Modern Sounds in Country Music. Gatefold, beautiful gatefold cover. Terrible, ugly colored vinyl. You know, I can't get used to colored country album, colored, colored vinyl country albums. Maybe I need more time. Here we have the backside again, fantastic uh, jackets. It's always a pleasure when it comes to vinyl me, please. The sound. I have now two. I still haven't the first one, Johnny Cash. And they have to improve a bit. They have to improve a bit when it comes to the sound. And again, I have no idea how the original sounds. So maybe that's also one of the reasons. But this is a good sounding album, don't get me wrong. But, but not outstanding. A very nice album, I really liked it, beautiful one. But not an uh, audiophile firework. The last series is the hip hop series, and here we have Young Thug, so much fun, on in this case very beautiful colored vinyl. And this release is a release where a hip hop album is the first time available on vinyl. I've listened to this album, to this double album, and it's a very impressive, beautiful hip-hop album. I really like it very much. And this Vinyl Me Please series really brought hip-hop music nearer to me and I'm getting more and more fond of it. And this is again a great release. First time on vinyl. Very interesting, great album and sounds great. Really, those, those hip-hop albums uh, uh, every now and then they sound fantastic. The bass, oh, cool stuff, cool stuff. And now, in a way, a bit, a bit of a best of when it comes to Vinyl Me Please. You know, they put out their 100th release with the Mia edition, M-I-A. And um, when they did so, they also repressed some of their hottest, hottest items in a way. Amongst those uh, releases are albums uh, that went over at discos for far over 350 euros, are really quite expensive. And they repressed uh, some of them, really cool, really great stuff amongst them. I, I show you, uh, I show uh, you to them, uh, to you in a minute. Um, but this is again a, an interesting case. Those releases from Vinyl Me Please are often not limited and you can put yourself on a wait list. So be patient, don't pay 300 or, or maybe even more bucks for, for a release. Just wait a bit, wait, be patient sometimes. And in this case, I think they, they put out all over, uh, I think 10, I ordered eight, I show you six of them. and. Those are fantastic releases and let's start with one of the absolute highlights with Queen A Night at the Opera. This is the uh, Bob Ludwig cut. I think it's uh, uh, mastered over at Abbey Road at Half Speed Master, but still it is a very good sounding edition. I have no idea how the uh, uh, original sounds but this one is a quiet, flat, beautiful, very good sounding pressing of this unbelievable album. It's, it's um, um, Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I mean, what? It, it's unbelievable. Fantastic album from Queen. Maybe their best release, maybe their best album. I don't know. What do you think is... A Night at the Opera, their best release, maybe. B but anyhow, it's a fantastic release and this is a very, very good pressing 
and a, and, and a very good mastering. Although, once more, I do not know how the original sounds. Another very interesting, beautiful release. So happy to have it now on vinyl in a very good pressing, in a decent pressing. I'm talking about Gorilla's Demon Days on again colored, red colored vinyl. Gateful jacket, again a half speed remaster. You know, I'm not that fond of half speed remaster. Though there, is, I have problems with the bass. Sometimes the bass is a bit thin, but they really put in nice stuff here. Some stickers. The inner sleeves are gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Very beautiful release. Happy to have it. It's good that they put it back in print. I don't know if you can get all of these still. Some of them may be gone very fast, but Gorillas, Demon Days, fantastic Britpop, great, great album. The next two albums also great stuff. So happy to have them back on, on vinyl. First one is Outcast. And okay, I try it. Southern Playalistica Delect Music is the title of this beautiful album. First time on vinyl as the expanded album, including all tracks from the original release. Great jacket, by the way, sounds very, very good. And they even put out another Outcast album. It's the Konia. I think this is their most successful album. Mastered by Ryan K. Smith. Sounds gorgeous. Double album. It's, I read you the hype sticker. Legendary duo's eclectic epic featuring Mr. J Mrs. Jackson and B.O.B. Bombs over Baghdad. Lacquer cut by Ryan K. Smith. Sterling sounds. Plated at Quality Records. Pleasant Salina Canvas. Exclusive 2LP Black and White Galaxy Vinyl includes excessive exclusive art print. Beautiful edition. Sounds great. Great album. I think this is part of their uh, hip-hop releases, hip-hop series. Great one. Great that we have this one in such a good, good quality. Highly recommended. Another one out of the hip-hop series. And this one was, before they repressed, it's so expensive. I think here in Germany and in Europe it was around 375 euros. Unbelievable. I'm talking about Sabre. Care for me, beautiful one on gray vinyl. We have the, the jacket, it's not a, a gatefold jacket, it's a, a single disc release. Beautiful one, yeah, nothing, nothing too special here when it comes to the mastering, but also sounds great. Great bass, fantastic album, by the way, very, very beautiful top release. I think this one, when they announced that it is repressed, also was gone very, very quick. I think they could have done some more. And now, for something very, very special in my opinion, I think this is part of their um, classic series. And we're talking about Miles Davis and John Coltrane. The final tour, Paris, March 21, 1960. Yeah, it's a classic series here. You have, you have the the booklet, beautiful one. It's the first official vinyl pressing on 180 gram black vinyl, mastered from the producer's archive by Mark Wilder Battery Studios. Exclusive listening liner notes by Ashley Khan. Beautiful, beautiful album. Although again, not not your your typical bombastic audiophile stuff. I would categorize it as a very, very good, very important and beautiful um, archive, archival release. Important album, of course, we have the quintet, we have Miles Davis on trumpet, we have John Coltrane on tenor sax, Winton Kelly on the piano, Paul Chambers on bass and Jimmy Cobb on the drums. Great one. I don't know if it's still available over there. If so, I really recommend you to get it. Great one. Great one. Yeah, this was a quick overview about 
the latest things around vi the Vinyl Me Please in my label. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, I thank you for your time and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.